This is Han. As you can see, we have two members in our group. And we have two Hans. And I'm the one whose student ID was 6330112102. And today I'm the presenter of our slides. And today we're going to talk about Isaac Newton, the mathematician who revolutionized science. So who was Isaac Newton and what motivated his work? Isaac Newton, born in 1643, was a genius of his time. With humble beginnings, his brilliance did shine. His motivation, a quest for nature's secrets profound, to understand the universe in which we are bound. Historical, scientific context. In the 7th century, a time of great change, the scientific revolution, a paradigm exchange, Newton emerged a beacon of empirical might in an era where science sought to shed the old light. Mathematical concept developed. Newton's calculus, a mathematical gift, a tool to describe motion, a paradigm shift. His principia unveiling laws universal and grand, describing motion and gravity across the line. As you can see, there is integration and differentiation for calculus. So I'm going to show you a video to acknowledge calculus. The only thing that is constant is change. Everything around us is always changing. We see things moving, the weather keeps changing, prices of things are always changing, the temperature of the earth keeps rising, our population keeps increasing, and many more such changes. Wouldn't it be amazing if we can predict how things are going to change? Well, in many cases, calculus is the branch of mathematics that can do this. For example, calculus is used for analyzing the motion of objects, and then to build the models to predict the trajectory of things like rockets. It can be used to analyze the money coming in and out of a business and then to build models to maximize its profit. Calculus can be referred to as the mathematics of change. So to develop the skill of predicting change in the upcoming set of videos, we are going to understand the basic concepts of calculus. Limits, differentiation and integration are the important ideas around which calculus is built. First, we'll understand these ideas. In calculus, we mostly study things which change according to a pattern. These patterns of change are mathematically represented by the concept of functions. So the concept of functions is the main object of study in calculus and therefore we will understand it well. And finally, we will see how to use the ideas of limits, differentiation and integration to analyze functions. Okay, so because in our real world, there are many variables that elementary mathematics cannot solve. Calculus provides an effective way to solve variables and is a tool for solving scientific problems. If you want to make a difference on the path of science, calculus is fundamental knowledge. So let's talk about the integration. When you integral a number, you always power it up and then divide it by the power after. Always at constant. So let's see the graph. dfx. fx is formula with x. And divide by dx equal to f comma x and just because of that this comma uh, this mark is for integrations and integrations is a formula times dx and equal to gx and gx plus constant equal to fx just because 
you divide by dx, you got f comma x. So you have to times dx and plus the constant. And you get back from f comma x back to fx. And why we add constant always? Just because the integration, the integration mark and 0 times dx always equal to constant. So integral of any specific number, integers, decimals, or whatever, will get a constant. <laughs> so differentiation. So times the power now, and then decrease the power. And constant gone. The differentiation is the opposite of integration. So as you can see, y divided by y, uh, y equal to x power 2 and y divided by dx equal to 2x y. Let's follow this step. The first step times the power now. So the power now equal to 2. So x power 2 times 2 equal to 2 x power 2 and then decrease the power. So power 2 become 1. What do you got? So 2x power 1, right? And constant gone. That's why all of those numbers, you plus 7, minus 15, plus 279, whatever, you got 2x. Because in the previous slide, we talk about everything, every number. The integrations of the number is 0. That's why we will differentiation which is opposite of integrations, you get gone, the constant gone. And let's try this. The integrations, x power 3. So follow the step in the previous slide. You always power it up and then divide it by the power after and at a constant. which is you power up, so you get x power 4, 3, 3 becomes 4, and divide by 4, because you divide by the power after. So x power 4 divided by 4 is the answer for first one. And for second one, you power it up, x power 5 becomes x power 6, and you divide by 6. What do you got? 1 third times x power 6. So 6 thirds. Six, uh, x power 6 over 3. And for the question 3, 7x power 7, you power it up, you get x power 8. And you divide by 8, what do you get? 7x power 8 divided by 8. That's the answer for integrations. And for differentiation, um, well, we have been told differentiation is opposite of the integration. Do you realize that? You times the power now, and then increase the power, which is 3 times 6. You get 18x power 6, and, and then you decrease the power. What do you got? 18x power 5, right? And 4 times 4, 16, and decrease the power 3. 4 becomes 3. So you, what do you got? 16x power 3. And for this, 2x power 0. Uh, as we can see, x power to 0, whatever the x is, it got 1, right? That knowledge comes from high school, or your secondary, um, primary, or mm, not kindergarten, probably, but we all know that what, whatever the number is, your power to 0 equal to 1. And 2 times the power now, Differentiation steps, step 1, 2 times 0 equal to 0, so 0 times 1, what do you got? 0, right? 2 times 0 equal to 0, right? And 0 times whatever, 0. So the answer for differentiation 3 equal to 0. And 
always add constant for the first one. And now you know. For differentiation, you times the power and decrease the power. And in division, you power it up and times the power. Times power and divide by power. Power up and power down. Okay. Um, let's try this. So the integration of 2x power 2 times sec sec power 2x ten, tangent x. What's that? What you got? Nah, just kidding. Won't let you do this, but here's the answer I wrote it for you. And for all those great mind comes from the nature. Comes from Isaac Newton. This this picture seems familiar to you. You might heard about Apple and a young man. Here's a story. You might heard about it. The story about gravity and the patterns in nature using math. Patterns in nature. Newton's keen eye did see the laws of motion and gravity. He set them free. Falling apples and orbiting moons in his will. Reveal it. Revealed the order in the chaos, his insights grew. Importance for science and society. Newton's discoveries, not confined to his room, sparked innovation, engineering did doom. From bridges to telescopes, his work had impact. Advancing society with knowledge compact. And for illustrating the power of mass, the power of mass. In Newton's hands was profound, unveiling truths about the world where they are found. With equations and calculations, he paved the way to uncover nature's secrets night and day. And for the conclusion, in conclusion, Isaac Newton's legacy we acclaim. His thirst for knowledge and curiosity we name. Through the math and the science, he unlocked nature's door, forever remembered for discoveries gallery. And thanks for your attention.